Yo, what's poppin' guys? Back with another review on a new mod on Crusader Kings 3. It is basically a Lord of the Rings mod called The War... Well, no, the title of the campaign is The War of the Ring, but if you want to find it on Steam, it comes under the name called The Lord of the Rings Realm in Exile. Um, what I see so far what they've done is you can only play as three main people you can play as Theoden king of uh, obviously Rohan you can play as Saruman and you can play as um, Wolfguard of Dunham Dunham what are they called uh, so what we do I don't know if you can play as any other ruler we'll quickly have a look and then I'll jump into it um yeah, as you can see, it's still basically you know the access, but they've let you have a little bit of fun, see what it's all about. Obviously, they've got they've got the um, the whole map. So this will be the map. Obviously, you know where everything is. You know Gondor's over here, as you can see. You've got Mordor. Obviously, it's not finished work in progress, but what? is there so far looks pretty good so have they got any new traits or anything let's have a look three people are in right so we'll jump in and see what features it has to offer lifestyles if there's anything in here no, not really, but as I said, work in progress. Decisions. No, not much yet. Also, you got the good. The, the good, what am I on about? The different titles, what they've obviously changed so far. Horsemaster, which is a new trait. Well, Commander trait. Good at out outrider leader. Does he have any kids? Yeah. Yeah, he's got the same horse master. I think they've the I don't know if they're changing everything, but what I see so far looks decent. So they've got the three people down here. Um, what are, there's only one, f no. There's three different um, faiths at the moment. So you've got the three people. Obviously, um, Rohan. Obviously, Gundam. you got pe the people of darkness, I'm guessing. And then you've got the Council of Sauron. So obviously, you know, Sauron, the wizard. Um, oh, they've even got their own cultures as well. So you got Rowan. Where did it be? Yeah, Dun Lenin culture, and I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, so they're still the same. Up here. Decent. I, 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 I wouldn't put it to them. You know, this is actually a really, really good mod. Elusive Shadows. They, they got some new new traits. So his age. <laughs> his age is <laughs> 1999. <laughs> and still going strong. <laughs> Um, let's go over here. So you got the same. Oh, that's decent. Obviously, when it's finished, it'll be much. Um, obviously, better. They've got obviously special buildings. So obviously, their capital building. They've got 
So this is with the duchy building, yeah. And then normal buildings. You got manor house, garrison tower, stables, and so forth. <coughs> We've changed them a little bit. They got their own cool, unique outfits. <clears throat> Can I change what he looks? Barbershop? So they haven't fully... As I said, it's not 100% finished. Obviously, we're, we're going to and see what we can do so far. I don't know if the names are right, and um, names, their ages are all right yet. Also, I can vassalize neighbors, petty king of West March. Yeah, lions. Yeah, it's decent, decent looking mod. Obviously, it's pretty much new off the bat. Obviously, they got a lot to improve on and add. But what you see so far of it is obviously they've only put in three, uh, as I call it, factions or playable characters you can play as. Um, obviously, I don't know if they've put any events in or anything like that but so far looks good so the bit about it is so you can play as Fyrodin King of Rohan in the year of uh, 3000 um, yes there's special buildings for Helm's Deep Unique cities, castles, temples, 3D models for the culture. Saruman, obviously over here, of um, Isengard. Uh, you get to choose between to portray the light and use for palantry. Uh, build, an, build a um, worthy army of Mordor, basically corrupt and in power with the voice of Saruman or stay true to the light and provide wisdom cunning to your allies so technically you don't have to go by how it goes in the books and in the, the movie you basically this is Crusader Kings you can choose your own destiny so you could choose to be good you can choose to be bad um, and obviously the other faction is up here of uh, Dunlands obviously um, choose between the Wrath of Feardon or Battle of the Wizard Sarum uh, characters from a real time strategy game um, obviously they have new buildings such as the Mead Hall stables, garrison towers um, basically you got a, for them it's we take the fertile land stolen by the Rohan so obviously they must have owned this at some point and obviously they want to take it back but you don't have to do that because at the end of the day this is crusader kings you can do whatever you want whenever you want so if you want to be isengard and you wanted to take all this it's up to you if you wanted to uh, be friends with the uh, rohan so be it um when they had everyone else in like the dwarfs and mordor and gondor you don't have to be evil you can be good maybe you can change your faith i don't know Maybe I could change my faith. Should we test it out? Yes, we will. Convert faith. So, for example, as I say, now we're evil, pretty much, because we've changed faith. So, that's what you can do. Obviously, everything's quite lim limited at the moment, because obviously it is literally just come out. So, if I go 
back. So basically, the War of the Ring. So obviously Sauron holds the military advantage in the battles for Middle-earth. At all times he has over overwhelming armies of orcs and trolls in Mordor and Dol Gollum and the subjugated men of Run. So as I said you can do whatever you want. Obviously as they play it, you can play as one, two or three. It's up to you at the end of the day. This is what they're doing. As you can see, the map's really nicely done. Obviously, you can see Gondor, Mordor, Rohan, Eredor. You know, you got the little elven kingdoms. Obviously, you probably have Dale over here, the Mystery Mountains, etc., etc. But obviously, it's a work in progress at the moment, so you'd have to bear with so far. Also, they got some cool looking features. So, that's how much they've put in so far. So, they've got their own cultures. See, Rohan, as you can see. See, we're, we're going to have a look at Isengard just quick, see if he's got anything different. Obviously, he's got different legacies. Let's just randomly click that one. We'll go down to his decision. So, as you can see, a bit different. Um, no, it's pretty much the same, and it? Just got different, yeah, because he's. Can you recruit? Okay, so they haven't really done much yet, but what I can see of it, I think they made this model Crusader Kings 2 and that Rome Imperator, I think, I'm not 100%. Um, oh, okay, so he's got like 600, so he could literally just choose which ones maybe it's just something to start them off to make them bigger and better I'm not 100% as you can see there's Isengard you've got the tower Wait, let me give it a as you can see you've got the little tower everything obviously you've probably got the special building down there so you've got the tower you get a levy size um, plus 10 on sport, uh, fort level, you get a garrison of um, 1500, gives you 475 levies, so good bonuses etc, they've obviously got the smithy at this level, obviously because I'm guessing they got a, uh, you know that's where they made, he started making all the orcs and stuff, if you've watched the films and in the books, so Yes, that's pretty cool, pretty cool, don't get me wrong, it's very nice, very nice, um, yeah, so, this is what the map look, will look like, which is very nice, <laughs> so, As you can see, is there any other unique buildings that I've found on the map? I'm guessing that's the um, that's where Dale would be, the dwarfs, Misty Mountains. That looks really nice. That's pretty cool. Anywhere else? No, they've put a cool looking building in. Where's. 
Is that Helm's Deep? Is that Helm's Deep here? Ah, here we go. Here's Helm's Deep. So, with Helm's Deep, garrison size of a thousand. That's not a lot. I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm looking very um, forward to playing this as a massive Lord of Rings fan. So, that's what this mod has to offer. It's obviously not done, so if you're looking to play it, it's not 100% done. Like, if you want to play it, just for to see what it's like then obviously there's only this little area you can play as and fight against so it's up to you at the end of the day um, if you want to check it out it's on Steam um, if you like the video please give it a like uh, please subscribe as all I do now is basically mod reviews mostly on Crusader Kings 3 so when they come out, I'll whack them on here, I'll post them, you know, I'll let people know what's out, what's new, you know, so it's not out for like, like a month before you notice, you know, you know, you want to know when these mods are out, when they are out, and you know, if you ain't got time, check out my channel, get notifications turned on, boom, you see a new mod, you're like, ah, oh, new mod out, boom play it, you install it, you like it, you know, I'm helping you lot out, so at the end of the day, till next time, enjoy, and I will send up updates when this is fully done, till next time, peace.